Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. Probably the most boring market out there at the moment. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I know it is boring and no, it is choppy. It's just moving up and down, isn't it? We don't really make much progress in the chart. Nevertheless, we are patient and it takes time, yeah, but it is still making progress. So we still see the progress on the NetGas chart. It is just a little bit slow motion like, okay. The idea is still, um, and that's unchanged from previous videos, that we are in this way for correction and this rallies as an ABC structure. And the idea is that this C wave is unfolding as an ending diagonal. It has to, uh, I don't see any impulse here. Okay, so it has to be an, uh, a diagonal. And this diagonal is a five wave move. So I count this as a wave one. I count this drop into June as wave two. I think we are currently in a third wave. There should be a fourth and a fifth. And the idea is that if we are in the third wave, that also we are dealing with an ABC structure. So, and that is just because we are in a larger diagonal. So again, the diagonal is this C wave of wave four. It consists of five waves, but each of the sub waves is a three wave move. And therefore the third wave is also a three wave move in which we're looking at a wave a, a wave B, and a wave C. Um, very simple. <laughs> it sounds simple at least. It's not that simple though. The idea is that we already completed the A wave. We came into the B wave support area. We rallied. The idea was to turn around in this support area somewhere, yeah, between 258 and 229. We did that. We reacted to the 50% retracement, rallied higher. I gave you the next support area and this is now a potential first wave or well, a potential wave one of wave C. So the idea is that we might have bottomed here in wave B, that we're now in the C wave. Target for the C wave, again, we take a look at the length of the A wave, go to the low of the B wave and the target for the C wave is the one to one ratio, at least the very first target. That's at 321. Let's see if we get there first, but it could also go all the way up to 367 the 1.618 extension. The idea was after we saw that reversal out of our trend reversal area, that we could already be in the C wave and this might've been the wave one of wave C, which again is a five wave move. Yes, we rallied, we came back into the next support area and turned around, Seems we seem to be turning around where we needed to, to maintain the current wave count. So 255 was relevant support, so that's good. But it's not impulsive really to the upside that I could confirm we have formed the lasting low here. So I still for further continuation to the upside in the short term C wave pattern, I needed to stay above 255 now. If we break below that, then the larger orange box becomes relevant again in terms of support. It would indicate the B wave was never finished. But this is just a micro count, honestly. I mean, that's all we can do here at the moment. But at the moment it seems okay, you know, we seem to be reversing out of our support area. That's what we wanted. And I think a break above the descending trend line would be a first indication that we are rallying in a third wave of the C wave. Target for the third wave would be the 1.618 extension of wave one. This is the $3.05 level. So I would like to see this third wave get at least to $3.05. Condition is that 255 is holding and an indication that this is going to play out would be a break above the trend line. Better confirmation would be a break above wave one at 279. So as long as these conditions are fulfilled, we should move higher. Below 255, the relevant support is 229. That's really everything I can tell you at the moment. Not much more change uh, since the last update seems to be playing out at the moment, but it's a very fragile structure because we're dealing with a diagonal. In a diagonal, you should not be surprised if the wave count has to change. Okay, that's my update about NetGas. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.